Oh, shoot. Look at that. No cap. Cap. <laughs> uh, I have a question for you. Have you ever felt like something new is coming? Something brand new, like Christmas is two days away and you're about to get the best present of your life. I feel like that right now. I feel like God is about to do something brand new in my heart and in my life, in my family's life. I don't know if you feel like that right now, but if you don't, I hope that this video encourages you. I'm believing that for you. I'm believing that God is about to deposit something new in your heart and in your mind. And I wanna encourage you with some thoughts on how I think God creates new things and how he's gonna bring that new thing in your life. My wife and I, we just went on a camping trip. I love camping, I love vacation for a lot of reasons. One, you know, you get out of the regular routine of life, you get in some clean, fresh air, you get a nice tan, some good food, you get to spend time with family. Normally, on these trips, I feel at peace, rest, restorative, all those adjectives describe vacation. And certainly I felt some of those things. But on this trip, with this feeling of, of something new coming, I felt like this was a trip of preparation. And it brought me to the Bible. It brought me to the scriptures to study and look and see and be reminded, how does God bring new things? Like, how does he create something new? If you are someone that believes in the God of the Bible, you know that God first created in the first book and the first verse, Genesis 1-1. If you know it, say it with me. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void. That darkness covered the face of the deep as the spirit of God hovered over the face of the waters. Like that, just right there. Spirit of God hovered over the face of the waters. The spirit of God. Spirit, that's one of my favorite Hebrew words, and I love it because you have to spit when you say it. <clears throat> ruach. R ruach. It's like ruach. Presence of God, spirit of God. The breath of God hovered over the face of the water. This, this imagery is so beautiful. It's so sick. I wish that we wrote like this more. The authors are so intentional with the way that this prose and almost poetic language opens up the creation narrative. The breath, the ruach of God hovers over the waters. Waters in the Bible, water, lakes, oceans, they almost always symbolize chaos, mystery, unrest. And so the spirit of God is hovering over chaos on the brink of new creation. God's about to create everything out of nothing. This first step is super encouraging for us, that if you have felt chaos, certainly in the last two years, but chaos maybe today, this week, fear, worry, this chaos, God is not absent from it. He is very present, he is close. He is hovering over that chaos, ready to bring something new. Three words that I would use to describe God's creative process, how he's gonna bring something new in your life, in mine, it's these three words, separation, filling, blessing. Separation, filling, blessing. Say it with me, no, I'm just kidding. Separation, filling, blessing. I'm gonna break this down because I think it's super important. Day one, God separates light and darkness. Separation. Day two, God separates the sea and the sky. Separation. Day three, the last day of separation, God separates the land from the ocean. So separation, separation, separation. Light and dark, sea and sky, ocean and land. Now this is the part where the Bible nerd in me gets very excited. We've had three days of separation. Now comes the second track in God's mixtape, Filling. Day one was a separation of light and dark. And now catch this, God is now going to fill. And he's not only gonna bring filling to that day one separation, but he's gonna fill it intentionally with everything that was meant to be there. God always fills the separation intentionally. That's a bar. 
Light and dark are separated, and then God fills with sun, moon, and stars. The sky and the seas below are separated, and God fills with birds in the air and fish in the sea. And then that last day, God separated the ocean and the land, and then he gives sea creatures, and then he also gives humans and animals on the land. He fills them. There's a filling to all of the separation that happens. That's beautiful. That's beautiful for us to think about when God is bringing something new in our lives. Everything that he had separated days one, two, and three, he fills inten intentionally days four, five, and six. Whew. That's tight. And then the last step, separation, filling, blessing. Day seven, a day of rest, a day that God said, this new thing is so good. It is very good and I am blessing it. The blessing comes after intentional separation and intentional filling comes intentional God-spoken blessing. That's the way that God creates. That's the way that God brings new things. I've been thinking, man, if I feel like new things are coming in my life, if I'm spending time in the word with the Lord, if, if I'm attending church, if I'm loving my neighbor, how is God gonna bring this new thing? Well, just like he did throughout all of the Bible, he separates a people, called them the Israelites. He filled them with a covenant so they can go be a light to the nations. They could be a blessing. In the New Testament, when, when Jesus pieces out and the disciples are left wondering, well, what do we do now? God separates them into the upper room, fills them with the Holy Spirit so they can go be a blessing to the world and share the good news of the gospel. I believe that in my life, when there are new things coming, and I believe this is happening now, God is separating me in certain areas of life. Maybe that separation from weekly ruts and routines. Maybe that separation from certain friendships or certain technological mediums that will distract me throughout the week. Some type of intentional separation, not just by accident, not just hoping something will happen, but he's encouraging, pushing, motivating me to separate myself so that his God anointed filling can come. So when I separate myself from a friendship, perhaps he fills me with his God given friendship or perhaps a new healthy relationship. Perhaps if he is separating me from a weekly rut that is just causing me to stumble over and over, he is about to fill me with a new practice and way of life for the week that's gonna make me a better human being and, and someone who loves my neighbor better. Whatever your separation is, I believe that God is gonna bring it, anoint it, and then he is going to intentionally fill that separation. And then the best piece of it all, he's gonna bless you and make you a blessing. This is how God brings new things. It's dope. Separation, filling, blessing. I feel like he's doing that for me, and I truly believe he's gonna do that for you.